When you consolidate your bills, you combine all of them into one loan with one monthly payment and ideally a lower interest rate. This can help you keep track of your money and stay organized, especially if you have a lot of high interest debt like credit card debt. But not all loans to pay off debt are the same. Before you decide if these loan products are good for you financially, you should know how they work and think about their pros and cons. How does a loan to pay off debts work? Most debt consolidation loans are fixed rate monthly loans, which means the interest rate never changes and you make the same payment every month. So if you have three credit cards with different interest rates and minimum payments, you could use a debt consolidation loan to pay off those cards and have just one monthly payment to deal with instead of three. What to look for in a debt consolidation loan? A debt consolidation loan is one way to refinance your debt. You apply for a loan for the amount you owe on your existing debts, and if you're approved, those funds will go towards paying off those balances. Then you'll pay down the new loan over time. To find the right option for yourself, evaluate features like the type of loan, its term, and if it requires collateral. Loan type. The most common loan types include personal loans, 0% balance transfer credit cards, 401 loans, and home equity loans. Some require collateral while others don't, so it's worth understanding how each debt product works as it could impact other areas of your finances. Be mindful of the long-term impact of your loan. If you plan to use a credit card with a low introductory rate, for example, make sure you can pay off all or most of your debt before the rate jumps up. Loan Terms Longer loan terms could mean your monthly payments are more affordable, but you should also be mindful of the interest rate since it determines how much you'll pay the lender to borrow funds. You may find that a shorter repayment period is ideal despite the higher monthly payments because you will pay far less in interest. Evaluate your budget and don't stretch yourself too thin. Benefits of a debt consolidation loan If you're looking to save money, streamline your monthly payments and circle the payoff date on your calendar, then debt consolidation may be a good fit. Pay down debt quicker. Making the minimum payment on your credit cards can stretch your repayment timeline for years. A debt consolidation loan may put you on a faster track to paying it off, albeit because you'll likely pay more each month. Save on interest costs. Generally, if you qualify for a lower rate than what you're paying now, you'll save on interest costs. As of August 30, 2023, the average credit card interest rate was 20.93%. That's almost double the average personal loan rate, which is currently 11.31%. Simplify your monthly payments. It's easier to manage one monthly payment than multiple payments with different due dates. This reduces your chances of missing payments, which is good for your credit. Repay on a fixed schedule. Many debt consolidation loans are fixed installment loans, which means you'll know exactly when you'll be debt-free. This can help motivate you while you pay down debt. Risks of a debt consolidation loan. Before moving forward, you'll need to weigh your immediate needs with your long-term goals. Some people choose to consolidate debt to save money and organize their monthly payments, but there are downsides. It won't solve all your financial issues. Once you use the debt consolidation loan to pay off your debt, you should avoid using your credit cards at the same rate again. This increases your overall debt, which can impact your credit and make it harder to pay down your balances. There may be some upfront costs. Some debt consolidation loans come with fees, including origination fees, balance transfer fees, prepayment penalties, annual fees, and more. Before taking out the loan, ask the lender whether any apply. You may pay more in interest. This might happen in two ways. Depending on your credit score, debt-to-income ratio and loan amount, you might pay a higher interest rate than you would on the original debt. Or, if you use the debt consolidation loan to lower your monthly payments by stretching out your repayment term, you may end up paying more in interest in the long run. What to consider before taking out a debt consolidation loan? A debt consolidation loan can be a handy way to group your debts together and lower the amount of interest you pay. But if you don't qualify for a low enough rate to make it worthwhile, there are some things you should try first. Negotiate with your lenders. Even if you aren't struggling to keep up with payments, talk to your lenders. They may be willing to lower your interest rate or otherwise adjust your debt to help you pay off what you owe. 